flipped it around and the first thing we're going to do is um, we're going to make it the required thickness which is 5 eighths of an inch. but it's not critical at all so we have to cut the groove just like the other one I forgot uh, before we cut the groove we need to take it down the size um, we gotta take about an inch off the diameter so I'm just gonna keep doing this I'll bring it back Ooh, I got really lucky. I got pretty close to those chuck jaws. Okay, so let's just, we need it to be about four and a quarter. Oh man, we are right on the money. Nice. Now we can cut the groove. I'm just gonna break these edges, especially the back one. The back one is pretty gnarly. But I gotta be careful because it's so close to the chuck jaw. See, I still need a little more. So actually, I'm just gonna get this in position, right about there, and then I'm just gonna feed in. That's getting pretty close. Let's see how we're doing. Oh, nice. And the bird is kind of off. So it's just, uh, there. Nice, looks good. Okay, so let's, let's touch off, back out. And then I'm just going to, by eye, get it to the center. Because again, my tool isn't exactly perfect. There, so that we'll we'll call that the center. Uh, let's just take another measurement of the thickness here. Yeah, so a few under 625. So we're like 620. So we're we're gonna go over 310. One two three. Now that should be the middle. So I'm going to lock the carriage and we're going to put this in. Oh, didn't mean to knock you over. 
We're going to put this in back gears. Alright, here we go. Slow it down even more. Okay, this is this is gonna this is more of a difficult cut because it's a bigger diameter and the surface feet per minute is higher. So this is as slow as it goes. Just about done. I'm getting a lot of chatter because this is just a bigger diameter. And I'm, I have a really large cutting edge, so I think this will be will be fine. Uh, what I'm going to do now is we're going to take it out of back gears, and then I'm just going to uh, I'm just going to sand this. So as a final decoration, I'm just going to add a little indent um, to the front face. Now normally these indents on pulleys are there because the pulleys are cast and they want to save material, but I think it just has a nice look. So what I'm going to do it anyway, I'm just going to arbitrarily pick a spot and plunge in. good so here it is all done getting a little bit of the weld stuff there but I think it'll be okay um, so I'm gonna put it on and see how it works I, I don't have any way of making a keyway so maybe down the road I'll make a keyway and uh, yeah so let's see how it works okay so it's on the motor now, um, it's, I must have, uh, you know, when I did the math, I only took into account the outer edge, but um, not so much how deep I went. Uh, and I didn't, I think I might have went in deeper than on the small one than the big one. And as a consequence, when I switched the speeds, the it's not exactly the same stiffness so um, all I need to do it kind of sucks but all I would need to do is just loosen this bolt and that loosens the motor actually there's a couple bolts there and then I can readjust it I actually never use the speed on the outside but I just kind of wanted to have the option so <clears throat> I, I'll never have to change gears most likely because I don't cut this on this one because it's way too fast but you can see that it works really nice and now I'll switch the belts so we're going to loosen that and then we're going to put that over there and then it's a little bit too just a just a little bit too tight so what I have to do is, I'll just loosen that. That's all I have tightened right now. Uh, 
Okay. So, let's just I'll do the back one too. Okay. So there you go. It works. So, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll be back to the steam engine build in the next one.